The Seven Seas Wreck, lost on the 1st of April 1915 to a torpedo by the German U-boat UB-57, made of steel. And unfortunately, there were nine lives lost in this incident. And here is the position of this wreck coming up for you now. And that's about 11 miles southeast of New Haven Harbour. Now, this video taken off YouTube, and it was made originally by Edward Tucker. And he's on YouTube. Do go check him out. So firstly, for the purists and the diving enthusiasts and the wreck enthusiasts, uh, this is down as the Seven Seas. Everyone knows it as the Seven Seas, including all the fishermen, but it's not been 100% confirmed as the Seven Seas, and people are trying to disprove it, prove it, whatever, including our friends over at Bew Chief. So although it's known as the Seven Seas, it's not been 100% confirmed. Now, really good wreck uh, at times, this one. I've had my best ever cod session on this wreck, uh, nine, ten years ago when I was commercial fishing, we stopped on this wreck, had some nets nearby, and we put some cod feathers down just for a laugh to see what was on there, me and my crew, and we both pulled up three cod each, so six cod in one drop on these feathers, all about four or five pound, and I told a uh, charter boat friend of mine, and it turned out he ended up sitting on this wreck for nearly three months, uh, just bagging up on cod, so it does occasionally just do wonders, not seen those numbers since, but it does throw up fish. So I know a few people that fish this one religiously. It's uh, their favourite wreck, as it were, at times. Again, it doesn't matter when you're there or not. You've got to know how to fish it, when to fish it. So this is all relevant information, but unless you know how to fish, it makes no difference whatsoever. But it sits north to south, so it lends itself well for anchoring. Uh, it does throw up eels like any good wreck does. And it's really intact, this one. It's quite a big wreck that's still nice lobster there and loads of fish life on it. So it, it is quite a solid structure still. A lot of wrecks you see, especially from the earlier period, a lot of them can be broken down and sinking into the sand and upside down, etc. This one isn't. This one's very much there. It's got a lot of features on it. Uh, it does have a few snaggy bits in, but there's also parts where you can drop a bait down onto the deck and you'll get away with it without even snagging up. Um, so not too much in here to see, really, apart from pout. I think this video was three months ago at the time of making. Uh, but like I said, it does have fish on it. I've always found it very hit and miss. It's never been one of my real sort of like, I'm going to their wrecks. Uh, but when I have gone there, I've either caught fish or I haven't. So I wouldn't say it's a, a solid golden wreck. But then again, that's all subjective and personal opinions. Now you can see here now, they're actually diving down into the hole. The hole's actually collapsed in. If you look to the top, you can see they're actually got sides, either bit of them. So if you can drop into this one, this is where your eels are going to be, tucked under all this um, all this deck in there. I would imagine this would have had deck beams across it. It's all collapsed in at some point. Perhaps they were wood or whatever. I'm not 100% not sure. Someone else might be able to tell you. Looking at probably what a winch there or anchor winch potentially. And as they're moving forward again, you can see there it's not too snaggy. A lot of high points, but... Other than that, it's, it's quite a nice wreck, this one. And it's well worth a visit if you're on the way. And like I said, it does hold cod, pollock, and bass. Even on Navionics, if you look on the Navionics app, people have actually marked it as a bass wreck. So at some point, someone has caught bass off of this to make it worthwhile to mark as a bass wreck. So Navionics view of it then, as you can see, it sits southeast to northwest orientation and it's got a big scour to the right hand side or to the east side of it. Those scours always worth fishing. Uh, you get a lot of fish in those scours just in their own sometimes. The fish can be holding in there, especially this time of year at time of uh, making this autumn time. I had no doubt there'd be bream hanging about in that scour. And like I said, because of the way it sits, good wreck to anchor this one. And I say if you do overshoot slightly from the east and you, or you undershoot it, you're fishing in the hole anyway. So it's a win-win. Good luck if you fish it and let us know how you get on.